I went ahead and took my measurement so that we can track exactly where I was starting at. So I measured my natural waist. My natural waist was about 27 and a half inches. Then I went ahead, went in and measured that lower, what they call fupa area with that stubborn fat. And it was around 37 inches. And just for good measure, I took my arm because we want to lose there. And it's 12 inches around my arm right now. This pill does the same thing as Ozempic but just for around $20 a month as opposed to $1,000 a month. Hey, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel, I'm Desi. And if you have been on the market for weight loss injections, weight loss pills, or even just a weight management plan, you have probably heard of berberine. Berberine is a supplement that is being called Nature's Ozempic because it acts in a very similar way to Ozempic, the diabetes drug. Y'all, I am not a healthcare professional, but it was news to me that high blood sugar levels correspond with being overweight and obese. I had no idea about that. So the way berberine works similar to Ozempic is that it actually lowers your blood sugar and glucose levels naturally. Berberine also slows down the gastric emptying process, the same thing that Ozempic does. I even read that berberine will help to calm down that mental chatter in your head that makes you think that you want something to eat even though you just ate or you don't even feel hungry, which that is good for me because that happens to me all the time. So once you start taking berberine, you wanna kinda of taper your way into it. You're gonna to wanna to start off with about 500 to 1,000 milligrams per day. And then the max that you can ramp up to is 2,000 milligrams. This particular pill right here that I'm taking is 1,200 milligrams. And I'm currently taking these one per day. You also wanna take this supplement six weeks on and then take 10 days off. So you don't wanna consistently take the berberine. You want to take it for six weeks, then allow your body to rest for 10 days, and then you can go ahead and start back to take it. If you're doing IF, if you're fasting, you're gonna to wanna to take the berberine before your fasting period. Say for instance, you're cutting your eating window at five o'clock in the evening. You wanna go ahead and take the berberine at five o'clock after you eat so that you won't be hungry for the rest of the night until you fall asleep and wake up again in the morning. Same thing if you are waking up in the morning and you intend on fasting, say, um, until say two o'clock, go ahead and take berberine during that period to help you with your fast. The only con that I found about berberine is that some people were saying that it might cause hair shedding, guys. I'm just getting my hair into somewhat of a decent shape after post bottom shedding with my son, who is now five years old, so it's been a journey. And if I do notice that my hair is starting to shed from taking berberine, I'm going to stop taking it because that's not a, a wanted side effect for me. So if you've been following me, you know that I'm kicking weight with Keisha. Shout out to Keisha. And this is my fourth week on her meal plan. And this week is pretty much a liquid fast. I'm going to be taking berberine and hopefully it's going to help me with this liquid fast. I will check back with you guys and let you know how I do how the berberine does. And in the meantime, guys, check out my video on what supplements that I will be taking to make sure that I get the nutrition that I need during this liquid fast. See you next time. Bye.